Hey there, how are you doing? Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about an easy topic called Linux world domination. But first I just want to say that I have had to remove the um, list of your, um, you know, the, the comments top list because I need to clear up with Google if I'm even allowed to do that. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Linux kernel 6.12 has been released and usually I am not your news guy, right? And you're, you're not supposed to get news from me. You can go to Foronix for such things. Uh, if it's technical in nature or many of the many other sites. Uh, but the reason why I'm doing this topic today is because I'm kind of a fan of real-time uh, scheduling on any real-time operating system because I have, um, I, as a boy, I always always liked toys and robots and something like that. And, and I liked to build stuff with my own hands. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this video at all is because real-time scheduling is now uh, officially a part of Linux kernel. You no longer need to patch it in uh, via uh, easily obtainable patches as always. I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, for example, in the uh, factory, you might have uh, an arm of a robot arm, like soldering parts of your uh, motherboard or something like that. And the, the arm has um, motors, electric motors, and there are some sensors. B basically, the robot arm must respond instantly to the uh, commands from its controller uh, in order to not miss the parts or uh, you know, damage your uh, your board or something like that. So the the, the way that real time scheduling works in any kernel is that it gives you a chance to program your let's say output in a very precise way. For example, uh, when you are playing a video game, uh, the video games don't require real time scheduling, nor will they ever benefit from from these new patches uh, because the the way video games work they uh, tend to spawn a lot of processes and um, all of this is happening all at once and if the game stutters a little bit that won't be a deal breaker for basically anyone or maybe i don't know competitive uh, players or something like that uh, but if you would use real-time scheduling in video games you might even hurt performance uh, in, in games and not gain anything uh, where you would gain um, benefits from having real-time scheduling is when you need to be sure that something is going to happen at exact moment when you need it to happen and not be delayed for a couple of milliseconds because some other task is doing something in the background, right? Uh, for, for example, if you have a digital sound processor on Linux and you, I don't know, you have a, an electric guitar and you plug it into a DSP that is Linux based, uh, you want to have your effect applied on your guitar like momentarily and if you just have one tiny delay the the whole effect would not work properly and that's why most of the effects for um, for music instruments are not actually being done through the operating system at least not in the professional use case like maybe medical equip equipment the equipment that relies on timely responses might be bad for the patient if they don't re react to commands instantly when needed or maybe autonomous cars could be a really good example because uh, when you have a car it has a camera and other sensors that detect people traffic signs and etc and when the controller tells the car that the car needs to brake it needs to brake immediately and uh, if the operating system is busy doing something else that would be kind of a bad uh, for this traffic situation because it's bad. So anyways, I didn't want to make too much of a fuss of this video uh, as I am not particularly technical person who you should even be listening to, but I, I'm kind of happy to see this happening uh, in, in Linux kernel because I think that this would lead to more people testing out Linux for real-time scheduling and more robotics being done with Linux. Uh, and overall, um, I think Linux dominance uh, of the world will increase a little bit uh, by, by this event. So it is what it is, and I'm going to see you in the next video.